All right, guys, let's get right into it. Uh, we need to do some maintenance stuff. Before we actually get into the builds of the episode, we need to fill in some of these naked spaces. Man, look at this naked space right here. Oh, you think that's it? No, we got naked spaces in front of this store that need to be filled in. We got boring bridges that don't got nothing going on. We even got little spots underneath our highway that we need to fill in. So let's get right into it. I want to start on the canal. There's some little, like, gaps, I guess, where the key is too close to the road. Let's fill those in first. Next, I'm going to take some, like, highway barriers, and I'm basically making like a custom little barricade area so people don't drive up onto the key and drive over into the water or something man people are goofy like that they'll fall asleep at the wheel so let's just place a few more of those around safety first man we really want our people to be safe out here and then we're gonna move on to our bridge i wanted to add this iron rail girder thing just to make the bridge have a little bit more of a historical feel it's probably been there from day one first bridge they ever built type activity and then we're gonna sprinkle some of these pipes y'all know i've been using these pipes all over the city everywhere again in the lore of the city just pretend that they're moving hot water around or you know maybe this canal is some type of ice drain they use it to melt the ice and they turn that into steam and they do some other science stuff to it i don't know right now i'm adding in these ninja turtle style little drains right here and we even gonna put like some steam coming out of one of them man we definitely want the ninja turtles to be able to come up out of here and fight crime if need be so uh, I did want to change this sign. Y'all might have heard me mention that a couple of episodes ago. I feel like I got a nice Wells Fargo sign. That definitely feels more like a skyscraper building. Moving back to the canal. Y'all can see my fence work was never finished on the, on the bendy parts. So what we had to do was copy the whole key up here to like a blank area where I could make the ground level. Uh, since it's close to the water, it just won't let me use the prop line tool like I want. But if I put it on some flat ground, it behaves normally. And then I can just copy the fences over and slide them into place like that right there. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, we got a little overflow right here on the side we need to correct. But we can tap that out, man. We can get that right. We can line this up. And that saved me all types of time by switching to Geico. Now, I did have this one little spot that I had to kind of fill in manually. You see, it, it didn't copy over right. But that's okay. We just going to do this. Oh, man, a computer crash. See, man, every time. All right, so we restarted, man. Let's move on to the to actual build pieces, man. I've been waiting to do this for a while. I want to build a custom city park that has a really unique sculpture, something that speaks to Cold Harbor. Let's get into it, man. So we're going to line everything up with some surfaces first. You can see the rocks sticking through. We're going to handle that. Don't even worry. But I just wanted to make a nice lined up path that goes around the whole backside of the little park area. It'll feed into some stuff that we'll have placed up against the key, maybe a couple of kiosks, things like that. Next, I'm going to sprinkle out some of these curbs, man. Y'all can see I just do the whole line and I just delete the excess. It's way easier for me to do it like that than to try to get it precise. I'm going to lay out a circular asphalt piece right here in the middle. And then we're going to start working on a circular, a custom circular brick base for whatever sculpture we decide to use it's a little bit too big paul so let's uh let's draw this in just a little bit there we go that's fitting a little bit better we'll line it up with the node controller and make sure it's perfect perfectly circular hitting it with a few more surfaces a few more curbs to line that main area let's turn on some lights so we can see what we're doing over here man i can't stand when i can't see I'm gonna double line this little platform with another stone wall to just kind of thicken up that base, give it a little bit more weight. And we're gonna hit it with some of these fancy pants tiles. These are one of the sets of tiles that still look good with the snow kind of in it. I like those. If you see these in my city, just know it's fancy pants time. It's pinkies out activities going on. So let's line this up and clean that up with PO so it don't overlap. Bam. Let's get that back. Come on, bam, right there. And I want the, the same way I double line that that uh, platform wall. We're gonna double line some walls out here like this. This is just to give the key a little bit more separation. Who knows? Maybe down the line we'll come back and put some graffiti or something like that, or some city art. I don't know, something like that. But we, I definitely wanted this area to feel kind of you know definitely well maintained definitely a 
a vital part of the city, a historical part of the city, which will will reflect a little bit harder when we go to laying down our sculpture on the actual platform, man. So we're going to finish up with these, this little bit of fence work we got going on. We're not going to line the whole thing because we do want people to be able to step through and take a little selfie or two. And y'all can see I went on a workshop and went crazy, man. I got the big boy pop out of Sailor Anchor right here, man. And that just fits the city so much, man. Cold Harbor, big boy anchor. Come on, man. Sometimes, hey, man, look, won't he do it? Won't he will, man? It ain't even me all the time, man. Look at that view, cuz. Look at that view, man. Let's go ahead and keep it pushing, man. Let's get some lights on that situation. Let me pan up so I can rotate them things, make sure they lined up right. Oh man, that looks so dope to me cuz let's little put a little bit of vegetation down and I thought about putting these big boy red trees down man but they they actually kind of blocking my view a little bit so there's another uh asset in that same pack the leaves are uh, the trees are a little smaller a little less leaves I feel like we can kind of see better like that we'll put a couple of lamps down and right now I'm putting down some PPGs now for people that don't know PPGs are an asset you can download from the workshop that basically just people gather around them. they're called park people gatherers or, or something like that that's what PPG means but this is what people use to make custom parks man when you don't want to just use something straight vanilla and don't get me wrong some of the smaller vanilla joints do work especially if you add a little sauce to them but for us park like this in the place that it is we had to go full cut Custom full regalia. Let's jump across the street though. Cause this right here, this naked, it's been been making me mad. But I honestly think I was saving it for when I did the park. I felt like you know it would be kind of one project that's all kind of stuck together. So I'm hitting it with some of these cement decals just to give that a little bit different texture from the rest of the regular street. I mean, this is a fancy condo building. Look at this condo, man. You know, it's all types of OnlyFans girls and, and Twitch streamers living up in these places, man. So we're going to hit them with a bus stop. And actually, I'm going to use PO on this bus stop so I can take one of these advertisement signs off. I don't need both of them. We're going to replace that with a station sign on the other side. That way, we at least got the effect of that double wide bus stop activity going on. And we're going to hit it with a few of these bare trees and some planters. The last thing I wanted to do was hit it with a tunnel network, man. Because look, that, that road right there, that busy road, the one we put that iron girder across, we can't have folk walk across that road, man. It's a three-way stop. It'll it'll just get out of control, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay down a nice little custom tunnel that pops out right next to the Wells Fargo. Easy access from the train station. That's what we're going for in our city, man. So now behind them condo buildings, one thing that y'all might have noticed while I was actually building building stuff is i hate those giant delivery trucks hanging out of the front of my building like that man clogging up my street we got buses going down that street or we will have them soon spoiler alert and i don't want those big giant cargo trucks sticking out the front of my building man so we got to make us some custom back lot delivery areas y'all can see i stretched that road out all all the way past all of these buildings so basically like four commercial buildings can get serviced from this little back lot right here we're gonna line it up we're gonna make it look nice even though this area isn't 100 percent finalized because there will be some stuff back here we don't just don't know what it'll look like yet let's hit it with a little bit of foliage a little bit of functional parking this is like parking for the office workers and the maintenance man everybody can't park back here and again, I'm gonna add me a little parking lot right here on the side. Some of this footage got deleted, so that parking lot just popped up out of nowhere on y'all. But we're right next to the condo building in one of them naked spots I was complaining about in the intro. Nothing too crazy, just some rocks and some trees, because again, I don't 100% know if I'm gonna even keep that street, man. It might get a little bit too trafficy, and I might have to, you know, delete that. So I didn't wanna do anything too permanent right up underneath that underpass this is outside of our industrial area that we built with that reduced coker that big tall asset with all of the shell tanks around it man we need some parking for those people man i don't know where they've been parking they've been walking to work i don't know what's going on but we they finally have a little custom parking lot right here under the uh highway and we'll cover up our death care block with just a little outbuilding we're not done y'all but that park is definitely looking like it, man. We need to just go ahead and jump across the canal a little bit. You see this little spot right here? We've been avoiding that spot. We've been avoiding that spot like the plague. 
but it's time out for all that. Let's get right into it. So you can see me laying down this one little alleyway road. We'll get back to that. We're gonna lay down a theater right here up against the canal and we're gonna lay down this disused industrial asset. Don't worry, we're gonna put a residential block and an office block inside of that. So we got people going in and out and we're gonna keep fusing this these buildings in this area this area is just fusing man that's the name of the game we need three buildings that kind of all fit blush against each other that don't look too jinky on the backside when we go back there in that alleyway y'all know i don't play by my alleyways man especially when it's some commercial assets going on i always be thinking man where can i get these deliveries at because i do not want these people on my main street we're gonna lay down a couple of facades like the uh, vape shop, but that's PO. And here's our back alley that I was talking about. We're gonna make sure that's all fit and flush. Now this uh, industrial asset is sitting on a weird part of a hill. So we really gonna have to go, we're gonna have to like OD on the base walls, the foundation walls and the surfaces just to make it look semi realistic i mean it's never gonna look realistic no this would not be in this spot but i wanted something that felt like maybe even back in the day the train used to stop right there next to it and drop off stuff maybe there was a platform that was you know they had to take down that back in the days when we didn't really care about safety like that them them goods used to get dropped off but you say in the future they had to start using these little this little uh delivery entrance that we got back here on this lower part so stuff gets made in the in the factory gets put on a let's say some type of freight elevator and it comes out the bottom this alley is just naked now now we just got more nakedness let's hit this with some props while we back here man we don't need to come back and do this a couple of recycling bins and maybe one disused car this looks just like a place batman be beating up broke niggas we all must do our part Good citizenship, you know. Now, on the front side, we're going to put this Westlake Theater down. But, of course, it's no longer a theater. Now, it's just like a shopping, not a shopping center, but like a business center, I guess. You walk in the inside, they got all types of other businesses in there. Barbershops, beauty saloons, all that, man. On the outside, we're going to have little cafes and whatnot. Jumping back up to our industrial asset, man, I found this little asset that kind of looks like a little boiler room. We're going to use this to make a custom little coffee latte spot for the people that live in that building man i told you yo they fancy up there in that in that uh in that disused factory they ain't playing that rent ha <laughs> ha on the on the load down here back on the canal we're gonna fill in some of these kind of blank areas this is so far from the street y'all see that big giant crescent moon shape we gotta fill that in and here's another one man we're gonna hit this with a bus stop though because we y'all remember in the last episode, man, we did build our functional bus depot. We just haven't laid down any stops yet. We're going to get into it. And a few of these kind of dirty industrial props down here on that lower area leading to that some service doors. I'm also going to take a second to make sure all of these little surfaces are here. And we're going to add a little bit of exterior light so you can kind of see what's going on at that factory. And here's our custom little coffee spot that burn bean coffee let's make sure we got a door so people can get up there and right now i'm just doing what i can as far as detailing in front of this building because it is on a hill i can't go over the top i can it's some stuff i can do but it's some stuff it'll just look crazy if i try a few rooftop assets for our little fused up shopping building some exterior lights let's copy that curb over and let's hit this little supermarket with the with the works, man. The Coupe de Gracie. The last thing we want to do in this area is we want to copy that covered path that we had that's way down there by the Wells Fargo. Uh, we need another one of those, man. We don't need people walking all the way down there just to cross over. And I don't want people walking up on that avenue to cross over. We're going to take a second to lay out a real simple bus route man bus route route tomato tomato not sure and this was one of my favorite shots man look we got all the levels being used we got my man on the bike on the path we got the train going by and we got the bus going by that's dope on so many levels really not that many levels people overuse that all right as we continue on oh yeah i thought the episode was over man come on man, that was only like 14 minutes now i will do that to you but i've been trying to build a little more maybe make the episodes a little bit longer have a little bit more hang time so now in this little spot right here i wanted to do something super custom i wanted to make like a really cozy shopping complex 
underneath the rail and I want it to be in a, like an exposed area. So now imagine back in the past, this used to be three buildings lined up. They gutted the middle one. They left some of the foundation. They left a little bit of here and there, but now it's just like a plaza in the middle. So I'm gonna hit it with that brick wall in the middle and we're gonna cut out a little space. Then we're going to use a retaining wall prop. Get out of here. There you go. Uh, we're going to use a retaining wall prop to kind of make like a basically a top wall lining. Like again, there used to be a roof here, but they knocked the roof off. The rest of the wall stayed back there. So what you're seeing is like that line and uh, the uh, trim, I guess, of the wall. And we're going to make sure we space this out so it's not overlapping each other. Don't worry, we're going to slide that in. It's not going to stick out on the back side like that. We're going to move that in and get that right out of there. So it just creates this little kind of enclosed feeling. We're going to go ahead and hit it with some pavement texture right here. And this is this is a lot of steps. I'm not even going to hold y'all, man. So we're going to hit it with a little bit of the curbs at the bottom to give it a little bit more trim. And then we're going to start with the, the graffiti slash mural work, man. So... I wanted it to feel like the the township, the city, the borough or whatever. They let the artists come in and go crazy before they started adding, you know, benches and planters and things. They wanted the artists to come in. They wanted it to feel like a, a piece of the community, really to identify with the community. So what better way to do that than have artists from the community come in, do some crazy murals, do giant Leonard Nimoy in space shout out Leonard Nimoy definitely one of the goats of my generation like I saw this in the workshop and I mean it was no question I was going to use that in my city somewhere on the other wall we're going to put like a coffee shop bistro place and I'm even going to put like a little fire escape leading all the way down from that one lonely window man it's nobody's up there it's like storage and it's triple locked and nailed don't worry safety first we're going to finish up with the mural work in a couple of spots where we don't have anything right there throw a little what's this italian ice pizza something like that back there next to the girl with the helmet that feels like it kind of fits on this side my favorite soda pop soda it's the best it's fizzy it's the poppiest and i'm gonna take this um this is a warehouse frame if you're looking for it on the workshop it's called a warehouse frame trim it up slim it up and we're going to use this as our gutted roof. Like I said, they tore down everything, but this was the stuff that remained. So it's kind of like a, a atrium type feel. Maybe in the warmer months, ivy be growing all over this or something like that to make it even feel more cozy and tucked in up under these rail, under this rail line. Because, I mean, it is a loud, rusty rail line, man. We got to do what we got to do to make it something that looks inviting and warm and where people want to come spend their money, man. Because honestly, they could go anywhere in the world. Why would they want to come hang around underneath this rusty train track? It's because you can't get this look nowhere else in the city, man. Trust me on that. We're going to line this up with some tiles, make sure they even. We're going to hit this parking lot with a few spaces. I even found some props. I can't believe I've never seen these before. I found some parking meter props on the workshop, man. And I, I, I'm not gonna go crazy with these all over the city or nothing, but I just felt like in this instance right here, you could see them so good facing up against that little shopping area. I was like, yo, it was, it was a no brainer, man. We're gonna hit our outer stores with a little bit of signage. I, I didn't wanna use anything too fancy, man. Like this ain't the Lane Bryant crowd right here. This is the laundromat crowd. You know what I'm saying? This is the laundromat coffee bistro. So we're gonna hit them with that level of stuff we got the little stationary store jumping off you see we got the luigi's pizzeria he got beef with fat da vinci's by the way them people from louis luigi's and fat da vinci they be squabbling uh we're gonna hit it with the laundromat and this subway i'm actually gonna change that out in a time lapse so be looking for that that just didn't go it needed to be something a little bit more neighborhood that's a little bit too chained if you get what i'm saying i'm gonna throw down a little curb asset in the middle hit it with some of our sparse red trees that we used in the park and a couple of benches on the outside i'm even going to wrap a invisible path around each side so you will get to see people walking from i mean basically nowhere there's no reason for them to take this way because it really just runs out of a back block but i like to see the people walk through it and, and use both sides of this man so i kind of wanted to take my time 
not get frustrated when something didn't work 100% the way that I wanted to or the way I saw it in my head because I can't lie, this came out a little bit better than I thought. I mean, I knew if I stuck with it, it was gonna be something. It was gonna be worth showing folk, but I ain't gonna lie, man. It's giving all the vibes right now. I would definitely be hanging out up in here. I'm be falling through with a little local shawty. We at the coffee bistro getting scones, biscotti, and some motion, man. Hey, look, I gotta build a neighborhood, though. Y'all hang out, I'ma play some music. Work. Brand new exclusive joint. Y'all know how we do, man. Let's go. Hey. Everybody wanna be a dope boy. Everybody wanna be a coke boy. Everybody gotta chop. Everybody get money. Everybody sitting from the hood. Everybody real. But they not boy. Everybody say that she a bad Alright gang gang that ends this week's episode is it late is it early who the hell knows man i just be if i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you the truth if i didn't have to edit these if all i had to do was talk and build jesus christ i could put these out every two or three days man but that's neither here nor there y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe keep telling folk to tell folk i appreciate y'all and i will see y'all next time peace